What up? This is Rama Screen, and it's time for another celeb interview. And in the anticipation of Skylines, which has arrived in select theaters and drive-ins, and on demand and on digital everywhere, I'm here talking with one of the stars of this new film, James Cosmo. James, how are you? I'm very well, Rama. Thank you. How are you? <laughs> Not bad. Thank you so much. Before I go any further. I just like to start by saying what an honor it is to be talking with you this morning, sir. I'm a big fan of Game of Thrones, big fan of Sons of Anarchy, big fan of his dark materials. You're just awesome. So this is a very humbling experience for me. <laughs> oh, bless you. Thank you so much. That's very kind of you, Rama. Thank you for taking the time. So let's talk about Skylines. This is the yeah. third and final installment of the Skyline franchise. What yeah. drew you to this project? And were you familiar with the previous Skyline movies prior to taking on this role? No, I hadn't been uh, familiar with them. I hadn't, I hadn't watched them. I'd, I'd never done a, a, a real sort of sci-fi movie before. And I've always, um, I've always enjoyed uh, trying things that I hadn't tried before. Sometimes that's good, sometimes that's bad. Um, but I, I just thought, well, why not uh, try that sci-fi um, uh, genre? Uh, and I had a great time doing it. You know, I, I do really enjoy a lot of sci-fi movies. I find them fascinating. Uh, different people's take on, on the future or other worlds. Um, so, yeah, I, I, uh, I was looking forward to trying something new. So... Having been a fan of sci-fi, such as like you said, uh, so what uh, what is it about that that Liam O'Donnell had crafted here with this movie that's unique and separate from the rest in its genre? Well, I, I just think it's um, it's uh, the the characters in it are so well drawn, you know, uh, especially. Uh, my character of Grant, I really, I really uh, warmed uh, to him. Um, maybe I'm, I'm a bit too much like him, uh, but uh, I, I, I just uh, like the world that uh, Liam had created, and obviously it's been hugely successful. You know, uh, to to actually be able to to create three movies in ten years in that um, in that trilogy is just. An extraordinary achievement. It's you know, it's it's so hard to make one movie, let alone make three. You know, and he's done it and done it in spades. It's it's terrific, and I I, I love the the that world that he had created. It was it was it's very exciting. Okay, let's talk about your character Grant. He is absolutely badass. He's got that fatherly figure about him, very protective of others. And you also got to do some pretty cool action scenes in this film, firepower scenes. So my question is, how yeah. challenging was it for you to do all of that with an eye patch on? Because an eye patch would probably make me feel <laughs> disoriented. <laughs> but how was that experience oh, for you? Oh, I tell you, Rama, you have got it on the nose. When they, when they, when they put the eye patch on you, you can't shoot. You can't drink a cup of tea, let alone shoot an alien. Alien. Um, it's um, it is very challenging, you know, and you you're quite often sort of going, What's that? oh yes, <laughs> there he is, because if he's there, I can't see him. Um, so it was, and you know, to be my age and doing action scenes, it, I've got to say it was it was terrific fun, you know, and and the the you know because the the aliens were um, they were physical you know it wasn't there's no there wasn't any cgi there you know so to do fight scenes with these uh performers who looked incredible you know they're like eight foot tall but they moved with a with a, a sort of feline grace they were they were quite extraordinary they're huge very very talented people um so it, it was it was it was strenuous but uh, really enjoyable at the same time. How would you describe Grant? Is it fair to say that he has a Papa Bear personality? What do you think it is that drives Grant? Absolutely, you know, he's he's uh, he's the sort of character that you can see in in uh, in uh, different genres um, of that older, wiser, but steely 
sort of character. You know, he's he has got his own agenda and he's going to stick to that. He's 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 actually a man of of real courage and and honor. You know, even in the circumstances that they're in, he's he's the guy you'd want to have your back. Awesome. Thank you for sharing that. I'm curious, James, you've been in this business uh, for more than five decades. So for somebody who's been in this business that long, what kind of roles, what kind of projects that resonate with you these days? Because I noticed that you also show up on that comedy film, Get Duke or Boys in the Wood movie. So it oh, seems yes. like you're, yeah, you're happy just to show up for a few scenes or a few seconds. When scripts fall on your lap, which ones do you say yes to? Which ones do you say no to? It's, it's, Honestly, Rana, it, it can be, it could be a huge budget film. It could be a no budget film. It just depends on that character. And if I, if I see something in that character that I can relate to, uh, I'll, I'll go for it. I just, I, I've never had a plan, you know, like, like some people have had a plan, how to do things, what I'm going to do next. I've got no idea what I'm going to do next because I, I don't know what's around the corner. You know, and things like um, Get Duped and all that, it was, it was just so funny. And I, I just wanted to be part of it, you know. So, again, it's, it's trying something new and different, you know. And I love working with young directors and just sort of making their way in the business i find that it 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 gives me energy you know i've been i've been in the business a long time but when you work with people who are so enthused about what they're doing you know liam as well in skylines it's it, it gives me energy i gotta ask you this what do you miss the most yeah. about being on the set of game of thrones uh what do i miss yes well i don't miss being frozen to death in Iceland I don't <laughs> miss going to end of show parties where we were eating fermented whale meat uh, and they thought that was being nice to us um, but I do miss uh, um, the comradeship that you get you know when you're filming in trying circumstances and it was a lot it was although it was a very um obviously a very professionally run show um we we still managed to have a, a comradeship and and have fun on the set uh, and and just to be part of of a, a show that became such a worldwide phenomenon you know it was it was i was very very blessed to be involved with it, especially as i was in the beginning of the show the first three seasons you know you feel that you might have been some sort of uh input into making it that ongoing success final question is there a chance somehow that you might return as father quorum for season three of his dark materials yeah there's a chance there's a chance uh, i would love to i would love to i, I enjoyed um uh his dark materials uh very much you know it, it was um working with daphne was was and i did quite a lot with her and she's such a talented young actress, uh, truly talented. Um, uh, so yes, I would, I would love to. I believe the character does appear uh, in, in the third book. So I keep my fingers crossed that they'll ask me again. <laughs> me too, I keep my fingers crossed as well. So for everybody, my fans at home, go check out Skylines in select theaters, drive-ins and on demand and on digital. James Cosmo, thank you so much for talking to me and congratulations, sir. Thank you, Rama. It's been lovely talking with you.